The mark of the beast was the law. Whenever it was given in Exodus and Deuteronomy, it said, Bind this upon your hand and let it be for frontlets between your eyes. Let it be for a sign upon your hand, a memorial between your eyes. Now the law was a curse that was added because of their transgressions, like Paul said. And Jesus Christ came to redeem them from the curse of the law, being made a curse for them. See, Jesus Christ became the New Testament. He was their new Passover. He said, Eat my flesh, drink my blood on the supper. He said, this is the blood of the New Testament, which was shed for you. This was his way of telling them, look, you're no longer going to be saved by the Old Testament. The New Testament is here, not the Old. He was saying that God would no longer pass over them because of the Old Testament. You had to keep Jesus now if you wanted to be saved. This is why those that overcame the law, they sang the song of Moses. Gentiles never had the law. The law wasn't to the Gentiles. It said that whenever Jesus Christ was crucified, that he took away the middle man, making it himself of twain, one new man, so making peace, accepting the Gentiles. The Gentiles were made nigh by the blood of Christ. And that Jesus Christ took the handwritten ordinances out of the way, nailing them to his cross so that the Gentiles could come in. And again, this is the New Testament. He took away the handwritten ordinances. He put the laws of God inside of them. They should not have been living still by the Old Testament and rejecting Jesus Christ, the new. Now this binding upon their hand and frontlets between their eyes was the very beginning of the law in the Passover, Moses bringing them out, telling them to do this. And they would wear teflon, or back then it was called phylacteries, like Jesus said. They make broad their phylacteries. And it was a box they put on their, they still do it today, it's called teflon. They bind it upon their hand and on their forehead, and it's got little Torah scrolls written in it, the Old Testament. You know, the things that they, the scriptures that they like, they have this little scroll there right on the front and the back of it, stick it in a box, they worship like that. And it was a very sacred tradition going all the way back to their deliverance from Egypt in the Old Testament. But the Christians refused to wear them because it was a direct denial of Jesus Christ. They refused. You couldn't tell the difference between a Jew and a Christian Jew, an unbelieving Jew and a Christian Jew. You couldn't tell the difference, except for Christians would not wear Teflon. They would not reject the New Testament and Jesus Christ for the Old Testament. But the unbelieving Jews didn't believe Jesus Christ. Jesus said that temple was going to be destroyed, the armies were going to come, they were going to lay the temple desolate, lay Jerusalem even with the ground, and that the unbelieving Jews would be led away captive into all nations. So they didn't believe. They believed the Old Testament. They rejected Jesus Christ in 66 AD. They took over the temple. They were worshipped as the Messiah, these men that took over the temple. They killed 12,000 of the priests in the council. They killed the Christians, and they wouldn't allow the Christians to buy and sell. The reason Jesus overturned the, overturned the money changers' tables is because Jewish people had to go. They could get currency from anywhere, but they had to go into the temple and exchange their currency for Jewish currency and spend Jewish currency. But these zealots, these unbelievers that took over the temple in 66 AD, they wouldn't allow the Christians to buy and sell. They were not allowed to have any... Um, they couldn't do anything um, as giving and receiving in Jerusalem. And they also killed them if they were Christian, murdered them. And if the Christians wanted to buy and sell, they would have to wear the phylacteries. This is how the Jews knew. If you won't wear phylacteries or teflon, we know that you are a Christian. Because why won't you accept the Old Testament and Moses? And that word image, if you look it up, it can just mean to mark or etch, even on paper or stone. It can mean to mark or etch. It was the image, and they gave it power to speak. They got laws. They said, the law says, the law says, the law says. They gave the law the authority over Christ. And they took over the temple, and they blasphemed his name and his tabernacle. As for counting the number of the beasts, we know that that was a Jewish thing. It was a Hebrew thing. Their letters were also numbers, so every single word that they said had a sum. Anybody who was learned or had wisdom or understanding could count the number of the beast. It was the number of a man. One of them who took over the temple would have been John of Gascala, Simon Barjora, or they actually had other names. Um, and we don't even have the language they originally had in Hebrew, so it's impossible for us to count it. We got this revived language a couple few hundred years ago. The Hebrew that they used back then was a dead language. And now they've added it with vowels and everything. It doesn't have the same uh, sum. It doesn't equal the same as what it used to. But super simply put, what is the one thing Jesus Christ came to do other than end sin, defeat Satan, give us back to God? He came to fulfill the law. He was the New Testament, therefore overshadowing the Old Testament. The Old Testament was not the way. And then these people who didn't believe in him, they all died because of Passover. All right, that's the beginning of it all, was Passover and keeping the Teflon or phylacteries on their hands for the law. Well, they rejected Jesus Christ. They said, this temple's not going to be destroyed. They still live by Moses, right? They rejected Jesus. They rejected the New Testament. So they tried to fight to save the temple and protect the temple, and they hated Christians who rejected the Old Testament for Jesus Christ. And then they gathered all of Israel from all over the world for Passover and this final siege that happened in 70 A.D., 
All of Israel came. Over a million Jews were killed just on the day the temple was destroyed. Jesus' wrath was poured out on them who had taken the mark of the beast and rejected Jesus Christ. So they came in. They had blood all over their posts. They got the Passover is going to save them. God's going to pass over them. And he didn't because Jesus Christ was the new Passover and the New Testament. So God didn't pass over them whenever they rejected Christ and tried to keep the laws of Moses. This is the truth about the mark of the beast. That's the whole reason they were all destroyed, was coming for that Passover, the very beginning of their law, the thing they held most dear, and they were destroyed because of it, because of their rejection of Christ. Give me a follow. I have videos explaining all this stuff.